The origins of the art of blending can be traced back several thousand years. In the beginning, there was much consternation. I hope Fred appreciates all this fun. Well, he needs a little morale booster right now. The ancient Romans elevated wines by drinking out of golden chalices. But during the Middle Ages, winemakers turned to the dark sciences to conjure blends with special powers, sometimes provoking serious side effects. From Fountain Abbey, England came Friar Tuck, a rogue monk with a supernatural talent for sniffing out fine cuvée. But with his passing into time, so too did his wine secrets. 20th century vintners continued the quest by hearkening back to ancient winemaking techniques. But the results were comical. Later, at faraway Franciscan in Napa Valley, California, toiled Justin Meyer. Like Friar Tuck, he was a rogue monk with a knack for wine. He blended his Cabernet Sauvignon with 20% Merlot, to great acclaim. And Franciscan's signature style was born. Many of the great wines of the world are blends. But in 1985, there was no name for such a wine produced in America. The laws did not allow it to be labeled as Cabernet Sauvignon or Merlot, but it was clearly more than a mere table wine. So, Franciscan's Augustin Unius, with fellow vintners Robert Mondavi and Joseph Phelps, blazed across America, successfully campaigning to change the label laws and allow winemakers to make the best wines they could. Franciscan pioneered the new category in its first vintage and history was made. Named Magnificat after Bach's harmonious masterwork, this wine reaches its 20th anniversary with the 2004 vintage. Magnificat, the Napa Valley legend, remains the finest expression of Franciscan signature. Perfection in the art of blending. Thank you.